to a new video i hope you're having a lovely week this time i'm beginning with a little montage of me having a go at making a tutu this one didn't go quite to plan i made the mistake of underestimating how much tutu net i would actually need it's been a long time since i've made a tutu I, i've been trying to remember when it actually was and it was a good few years six or seven years maybe and i've totally forgotten just how much net you need so this was a bit of a rescue mission in the end to make it look good uh, because it just wasn't working out with folded over and gathered net so I added some more strands of net and made it more of a, a sort of pirate fairy <laughs> a raggedy sort of uh, tutu which actually I really liked in the end and I'm glad I added the strips of cotton gauze that I'd hand dyed last year or the year before, I can't remember when now um, and the colour just went perfectly so yeah that gave it an extra little sort of dimension and in the end I was pleased with it but uh, my next sewing project was another learning on the go sort of situation because I wanted to try something different um, the thing with making stuff with not new fabric or not new anything I suppose whatever craft you're doing you have to work around what you've got and so I was having a go at making this top so I had an embellished sort of semicircular, sort of a narrow semicircle piece of fabric and then the, the rest of the fabric was quite heavily gathered already and I was trying to work out a way where I could use that as part of the top design but this time it didn't work out. I felt that it might have worked if the fabric had been a bit thinner maybe but it was just a little bit too bulky. So it's a shame because that could have been a good design that I could have repeated <laughs> quite easily. But never mind. Um, yeah, that it was worth trying because had it worked, it would have been really good. So the scraps, the blue bits of fabric now will just go in the scrap box basket and be used for something else. And the embellished piece I can definitely easily use for something else as I didn't even need to cut into it. But I was, thought I would just mention that, that things don't always work out. Um, and usually, usually the any problems you come across with my style of sewing, you can figure out as you go along and you can solve it, you can cut it out or add a bit to go over the top but sometimes it just doesn't work out. So I was thinking the other day about the fear of the blank page and I think I'll talk about that in terms of writing or art in another video but I was just thinking that the sewer's equivalent is like for me it's a blank mannequin or or if you're using new fabric then it's probably your piece of new fabric and you have to make that brave step to get the scissors and cut into them and I often asked how do you manage to do that how do you manage to cut into these these pieces of clothing that I reuse and yeah I just thought it was an interesting topic because I think the key to being able to do that is to accept that sometimes it's going to go wrong sometimes it's just not going to work out and if you've got that acceptance in your head already and you think okay well this might go wrong but never mind I can use the fabric to make something smaller or or I can turn it into a, a child's dress I can give to a niece or nephew or, or something like that um, I think if you go in with that mindset that you don't mind if it doesn't turn out perfectly then it just makes it so much easier to begin obviously sometimes the cost is the scary factor if you spent a lot of money on fabric and fabric can be really expensive then it does definitely up your anxiety factor when you get those scissors out but um i think yeah if you, if you get over that fear of if you get over the desire for perfection and the fear of going wrong and just accept that sometimes that will happen and you'll just learn from it and move on get another bit of fabric see if you can mend it use the fabric for something else then you just it just makes yeah I just find that really helpful but I still struggle with this I've been making clothes for threads of a fairy tale now for 
10 and a half years and I still have days where like the, I've gathered all the fabric it's all there and I just spend the whole day procrastinating finding other things to do and then I think I think and I stop and realize what I'm doing sometimes I don't even notice and I think oh yeah I'm nervous about starting this this new dress I think why it's ridiculous it just is a, sometimes a mental block that you struggle to get over and when I'm in that situation and I spot it what I do is I just force myself to look at the fabric try and imagine the finished dress that I want to make or have an idea of at least the next step that I want to do the bits what I want to cut off or refashion in whatever way I'm going to do for that garment and then I put on a podcast and what that does or an audiobook it doesn't matter and then what that does is I can't think my own self-sabotaging thoughts my mind has to go straight on the podcast or whatever it is I'm listening to and then I just have to do it I just get on with it because after that there's no room in my head for messing about with my brain <laughs> so there's my little tip for you if you if you cut if you know that your brain knows what you're meant to do you don't have to have thinking time and you know that all you need to do is just get on with it then put on a podcast or I don't know it, I think it needs to be spoken words I think music you can sometimes put that to one side of your brain and you can still have thoughts <laughs> so I think it needs to be like a story or yeah proper spoken words that your brain has to then stop its thoughts and listen to that and then you can just get on with it you can just cut up the fabric and get yeah just get it started <laughs> so that's my little tip for you if you're if you struggle with beginning a sewing project do let me know what you do to, to help with this if you have this problem at all or whether it tell me if you don't just tell me if you, no that's not an issue for you i can just get on with it i'll be really interested to know so let me know in the comments well today is the weekend i've had another busy week so i haven't been vlogging all week and at last oh my god i think the weather i think the weather is turning that i'm touching the wooden desk keeping my fingers crossed I think the weather might have finally turned and we might have summer on its way temperatures are going up to 17 degrees here in Somerset they might even reach 20 in the next couple of days which is very exciting and it's a blue sky which I haven't seen in a while so I might spend the day outside reading my magazine I've got a subscription, no it's in the kitchen I can't show you, I've got a subscription, um, actually it's a Christmas present from Chris, to Bella Grace magazine which is a, it's an American magazine from the company called Stampington and it is my favourite magazine in the world so I'm going to sit outside and I'm going to enjoy the sunshine and I'm just going to take a break. It's been, yeah like I said it's been a busy week my sister popped in on their way to, on holiday this morning which was really lovely to see them so I think it's gonna be a good weekend <laughs>
all day to you it's just been one of those days where I've been taking a lot of photographs actually and gosh getting back in the habit of going somewhere and and taking photographs and vlogging I'm totally out of practice with that so I'm sorry I've sort of neglected to talk to you today but we've had the most glorious day out I can't tell you how nice it is to be out and it feel like summer at last it feels like we've just sort of almost gone on holiday to another country because we just haven't had this nice weather for so long. Chris planned it all, he arranged our, he did our bookings with the National Trust and he did the bookings for our meal which was delicious. So uh, it's, it's just been nice to be taken out for the day and I didn't have to do any of the planning or anything. So yes, what a lovely bank holiday Monday. I hope you enjoyed yours too. Let me know if you did anything nice or whether you sat in the garden and enjoyed the sunshine. I hope you had sunshine wherever you are and I will see you again next week. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do send the link to a friend and I'll see you again next time. Take care, bye.